everybody and welcome back to Panda Creates Tutorials. I'm Panda and I am back with another Panda Checks Out installment. Um, this is where I do reviews and demonstrations of products from Australian suppliers that I find around the place. And this month we are doing another Chelsea Blue Designs review. Uh, now I haven't done anything for Chelsea Blue um, for a long while now. I think the last thing I did was when she came out with her tourniquets. Uh, so it is long overdue that I give her another shout out. Um, but I thought the timing was perfect uh, for this demonstration. Now, uh, I live in New South Wales in Australia. Uh, New South Wales have uh, been phasing out single-use plastics for quite a while now, um, but it's only been in the past month that they've been banned entirely, which means no more plastic straws, plastic spoons, plastic forks, plastic plates, plastic cups, right? Any single-use plastics, um, have pretty much been phased out entirely. Uh, now, if you are like me and think that the paper straws should never have been a thing to begin with, um, unless you're going to, you know, skull your drink in the first 30 seconds, uh, I have a lot of problems with them going soggy and gross and then you can't drink your drink because all you can taste is paper and that's just disgusting. Um, so I've actually moved on to having my own reusable stainless steel straw that I have in my handbag um, and I take that pretty much with me wherever I go now. Um, so with that in mind that is why I am bringing you this demonstration if uh, either A you want to help the planet out by not using plastic straws anymore if you are in a location that you can still access them or B you're in the same boat as me where you can't get plastic straws anymore um, and the cardboard paper ones just don't cut it. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to customize these stainless steel straws. So this is how they come uh, these are the straws that we um, are using. I will leave all of the links for everything that I'm using in the description box below. But these straws you will be able to get from the Shimmer Shack. Okay, so it comes in its own little contain container with a... I can never remember the name for these, but it starts with C. Right, but these are, I want to say Cabana Clips, but I know that that's not right. But these little clips on top, right, so you can attach it to, you know, your... your um, handbag or your school bag or whatever you need it with um, and then the container inside the container it does have a screw lid top comes off your straw is inside it also comes with a little brush to clean it out when you're washing it and they are telescopic straws okay so they do pull out and then when you're finished with them you pack them away like that and then they all fit neatly Oh, the brush is telescopic as well. They all fit neatly back in there, ready to be washed and reused again, right? So you're probably thinking, Panda, how on earth am I going to get this on the turner? And this is where Chelsea Blue comes in. Now, Chelsea Blue has actually had this attachment since 2020. Um, but it's like, so it's not a new product, um, but... As I said, with the way that things have gone, especially in New South Wales lately, I thought now was a good time to promote this product um, because it, it, it just seems like the right time. So with your straw, right, obviously we're going to take the straw out of it and we're just going to be left with our two parts. We're going to take the keychain ring out of the top like so. And this is what we will be working with to customize. Um, now, I have done a few of these before um, where we did... Um, actually, I don't think I did a tutorial on it. Um, so I'll, I'll just say it anyway. Where we did uh, the honeycomb method of putting rhinestones on them to make them look all pretty. This time, we're going to go one step further and we're going to resin them. So, Chelsea Blue Designs has a straw attachment. Okay, so your PVC pipe goes in here, it attaches to your turner the same way that it always does, but this is what the attachment looks like, and you can purchase it off her website, as I mentioned. Um, 
the link will be in the description below and basically your two parts whoop, sit on like so I think I've got that the wrong way around that goes on there that goes on there there we go they sit on there like that and then they turn okay um, so first things first uh, because they are silver uh, I'm going to spray paint them white um, so we're going to do that to start off our demonstration okay um, I this is the first time that I am using this attachment um, I have one straw um, so I <laughs> until um, Anna uh, from the Shimmer Shack ordered um, I told her that this was what I was planning asked her to get the straws in um, because I couldn't actually find the straws anywhere within Australia um, and I, I mean there was a couple of supplies that had the flat bottom ones um, but they were also a lot smaller and I think the bigger ones with the curved bottoms just look classier um, so we were waiting for her to get stock in um, so I didn't want to waste my straw testing out the attachment and then have nothing to film for you guys uh, so this will be my honest review as I use this attachment for the very first time but we're going to get some painters tape and we're going to start taping it all off uh, so that I don't wreck my um, attachment while we're spray painting so the lid fits quite snugly on the attachments this part is a little bit loose but you can push it all the way down I don't want to do that so what I am going to do is wrap some painters tape around my attachment like that so that that fits a little bit more snugly on like so see I can't push it all the way down anymore and we're also going to do the same for this side so that when I'm spray painting them I'm not making my attachment all gross and nasty okay so this bit will sit on like so nice and tight give it a twist so that it doesn't wobble anymore okay the second part will be the lid but before we do that I'm going to tear off the tiniest little bit of painters tape and just hang on I need to cut it so that it's a nice straight edge and not a jagged one and we're just going to wrap the little knobby bit at the top that holds the keychain and our clip I'm also going to wrap that up with painters tape like so this bit down the bottom that twists here I'm going to put painters tape on that as well I think my tape is going to be too short but we're about to find out aren't we All the way around. Oh, why aren't you sticking? I'm here to do my job. Why can't you do your job? I'm going to get a longer piece of tape. That's what I'm going to do. We're doing well guys hopefully this is the only thing that goes wrong you know what i should be doing <laughs> okay let's start again let's think about this let's put this on here first right so that we can actually get it on when we go to put the tape on there we go We 
we got there in the end, guys. Sometimes it just takes a little bit for my brain <laughs> to do its job. Okay, so now we are all taped up. Okay, so I have both my bits of tape on the actual attachment itself. This doesn't need any taping off. Um, the lid, I've taped off the little knob at the top, and I've also taped off the bit that screws into the base. That's what it looks like on the Turner attachment. So now I am going to go ahead and spray paint. Okay, so I have spray painted my um, straw white. Okay, and I've decided that we're going to go in and do a beach theme uh, because who doesn't love a challenge? Um, I usually do better with my challenges when I'm not live. <laughs> so, touch wood, we shouldn't have any issues. But, um, yeah, I thought we'd do a beach. Uh, the last beach I did, I did use the Glitzy Chicks collection. So, to spread the love, this time I'm going in with some glitters from the Shimmer Shack. Um, which I think would make a really pretty beach as well. So... For our sand, I am going in with Sandman. Um, then I'm going to sneak in a little bit of glass slipper. Then we're going Mermaid Sparkles. Kiss Me I'm Irish. Oh, get my shadow out of the way. And finishing off with Mystique. Okay, so they are all metallic glitters rather than uh, the hollows that are in um, the Glitchy Chicks' collection. Um, now I just have to put them back in order so I don't confuse myself. So, um, if you wanted to, uh, after you'd finished spray painting, um, <clears throat> you could put, if you were quick enough, um, you could put the glitter straight onto the wet spray paint and that would eliminate the next step. I'm just going to raise you guys up a little bit to give me some more room. There we go. Um, you could put the glitter directly on the wet spray paint. Um, I can't actually, I like using the Australian Export Matte black and white paints for my bases uh, I actually can't get matte white at the moment I can only get gloss and it, I don't know if anybody else has the same problem but I can never get gloss spray paint to work for me and give me a really nice coverage I always end up with drips um, so I'm using a Dulux um, matte spray paint from Bunnings at the moment um, the can says that it dries in less than 10 minutes and that's that's not a lie like <laughs> this spray paint dries quicker than I can get back to my craft room so um, I spray painted it I left it for the rest of the afternoon and just worked on some other things and now I am back with you to glitter our straw so because the spray paint is dry I'm going to use Tacket um, but I'm not going to use Tacket in a way, uh, the same way as what you would do with the Tacket method where you'd put it onto, uh, you put the glitter onto dry Tacket and then burnish it off. Um, uh, these are metallic glitters, not holographic glitters, and I'm going to be using Tacket the same way that I do a lot. Um, and I just use it as an adhesive, right? Um, if you don't have Tacket but you do have Mod Podge, you can use Mod Podge. Mod Podge will work fine. Um, I just like Tacket because it's a little bit thinner than Mod Podge. Um, Mod Podge still has its place. There are still projects that I will use it for. Um, but for stuff like this where I want to try and keep the coats as thin as possible, um, I tend to gravitate towards um, Tacket. So, we have to remember that this is the top of our beach. And this is the bottom of our beach because when we put it together, the curved bit is the bottom. So that's where the sand's going to go. So I'm going to try and kind of third it out on this one. And then all of this part will be Mystique just to make it a little bit easier for me. But I'm going to put my tacket all over this bottom part first. 
Um, I also like Tacket because if you like me, um, while I'm crafting, if I'm not talking with you guys, um, while I'm crafting, I like to watch YouTube. Um, and sometimes what I'm watching can distract me from my crafting projects. Um, so if you're the same <laughs> um, and you get distracted quite easily, uh, Tacket is very forgiving in the sense that even if it's dry, it's going to stay tacky because it's a repositionable glue. Um, so if it dries on you, you can still do what you need to do. Whereas Mod Podge, once it starts drying on you, um, you've got to put more on um, to make it sticky um, to use it as an adhesive again. So that's just another reason why I like Tacket. But I'm making sure I have nice even coverage the whole way around. Make sure we don't forget the butt. Um, and again, because I'm using it as an adhesive and not for the actual tacket, 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 tacket method, um, we're not going to wait for it to dry either. Okay, we're just going to go straight on. So, we're going to start with our Sandman. Do the butt first. Okay, and then I want to bring it up about a third. Like so. There's one bit on the end that didn't... There we go. Give it a good tap. And because I'm stingy and I don't waste my glitter, we're going to put that straight back into that container. All right. uh, then we're going to sneak. The tiniest little bit of glass slipper just to give me a little bit of whitewash that's optional don't have enough hands whoever decided that human beings should only have two hands clearly didn't consider how hard it would be to only have two hands as a human being. <laughs> okay, it's okay. But yes, I think it's a design flaw. That and not having regenerative teeth like sharks do. I don't think that your adult set of teeth should be your only set of teeth. Just my personal opinion. I will be taking it up with God when I meet him. Uh, okay, so next up is the Mermaid Sparkle. And I'm going to bring that up another third of the way. See our lid? That's exactly why I didn't put any tacket on the lid yet. Because I knew at some point <laughs> I would be dropping glitter onto it that shouldn't be there. So that is our Mermaid Sparkle. I'm just going to dry brush what I dropped off the lid. Um, I thought there was a white spot, but I think that's where I dropped that glass slipper. Hang on, I'll show you this in a second. to focus here I thought I'd missed a spot but there's actually glass slipper on that um, so I am gonna go over and do a second coat um, just to make the colors a little bit more bold I'll fix that then okay 
So next colour and the last colour on this part of the straw, we're going in with Kiss Me I'm Irish. And then, hang on if I hold it this way, we're starting to get a beach. And then the final colour will be Mystique. Um, but we've just got to go, whoops, we're going to dry brush onto the floor. Uh, dry brush that gives me I'm Irish off first. Put our tacket on. Around the top. And then go in with our mystic. Was a little bit enthusiastic. Okay, give that a good tap. And there we have our beach. What do you reckon? I reckon those colours do well. Um, I do like a metallic glitter. Right? Um, metallic glitters were the OG. Right? Before we had our hollows and our iridescence and our opals and our dupe glitters and all of that fun stuff, the metallics were the OG. And I do think that they still have a special place. They'd, I don't see them getting used as often anymore, but I do think that they still have their place. What do you reckon? Okay, uh, so now that that's done, um, I'm going to firstly clean my brush and get the tacket off there. Okay, um, I'm now going to go in with my Mod Podge. And we're going to do the same all over again. Um, I am going to film this part just in case you too need to do a second coat. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do my second coats. Right. So with my Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, instead of doing the whole thing though, we're going to do section by section. Okay. Um, I think I might get a bigger brush, but we'll see how we go. So I want to put my Mod Podge only on the Sandman and I'm going to get a bigger brush. I need new paint brushes because I keep forgetting to wash my brushes after lives and stuff. Um, and I'm starting to run low. Let's see what we've got this one should do. Okay. Um, when you're doing your second coat, um, like I said, like you do it section by section, um, but don't be too precious with your lines. 
um, no beach has perfectly straight lines um, if they all bleed into each other even better um, obviously uh, I actually I'll put a card in so if you look at the top right now um, that was the beach tutorial that I did um, I did get more of an ombre going um, with my colors this obviously being a smaller surface area it's a little bit trickier for me so we're just going with what we get because by the time it's finished it's still going to look like a beach okay so that's my mod podge right you want to make sure you've got no thick streaks or anything on it and now we're going to start from the beginning so sandman The second coat just makes it pop a little bit more. Um, especially when it's a fine glitter on a white base. Um, if you were to do only one colour, um, I definitely recommend spray painting your base uh, a similar colour to the glitter that you're going to be using. Or if you're doing a two colour ombre and your spray painting game is on point, uh, you could ombre with the spray paint and then put your glitter on um, white bases and black bases uh, tend to be the norm uh, more because um, you can put any color over black or white uh, especially if you're first starting out in this craft um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on buying you know a gazillion different colored spray paints white and black will get you by just fine um, but keep in mind, especially with more, more so with white than with black, um, you may find that you need to do two coats of glitter uh, more often. So we're going in very gently so as not to disturb our sand. Man, that's still wet. And this is when we're going to put our glass slipper down. Is it sparkle or sparkles? Sparkle, not plural. Okay. Doing this second coat will fix my boo boo with the glass slipper too, so that it doesn't look like I've got a big chunk, that bit there. A big chunk of white glitter floating around in the um, ocean. Whoops. There we go. Move my Mod Podge out of the way so I don't put Mermaid Sparkle. No, we want Kiss Me, I'm... No, Mermaid Sparkle. We're not up to the Kiss Me, I'm Irish yet.
try not to put glitter in my tea either. Not that. Whoa! <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I'll show you what I've just done. All right. I was standing the straw up against my cup of tea. Okay. I. I, I spoke it into the universe and the universe was like, no worries, we'll make that happen. Look what I've just done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, some days all you can do is laugh at yourself, am I right? Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Concentrating. We're now on to fire. I can't believe I just did that. Try not to get glitter in my tea, and then I knock the whole straw over and it goes everywhere. That's all right. It's funny. I can hear you all laughing at home, but I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so this will be the Kiss Me I'm Irish. I don't think I'll even edit that part out. I think I'm going to leave it in there. That that little oops with my teacup. Let me know in the comments if that makes your day. And if you got a good chuckle out of it. Because I am more than happy for you to laugh at me. At my expense. Okay, so the Kiss Me I'm Irish. Now, hopefully you'll see, what in frame, see how much more bold and distinctive it is now that we've done two coats. Okay, let's put it there this time. So that I don't mess up again. Because all that we've got to do for our second coat now is the mystique. We don't need the HTV, we just need the lint roller, thank you. Oh. Okay. I'm getting old, guys. My back is so sore today. Okay. I need a new chair in this room. Um, I have an existing shoulder blade injury. Um, and because I've been in here a lot lately, um, doing a lot of computer work and design work and stuff like that for some upcoming projects, um, my shoulder blade's playing up again. And I get to a certain point when I'm sitting in here where it just starts to go, nope. So if you hear me like straightening out and you hear my back and my neck crack, I do apologize because I did notice um, on one of my live replays recently, um, every time I kind of sat back and stretched my neck, you could hear it crack. <laughs> and that's, that's I, I don't know if anybody else picked up on it, um, but not, not the best sound effect. Okay, so we're going to put the lid back on my Mod Podge, and then we're going to go in. Did I do the top? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, good girl, Laura. On the ball. Trying to redeem myself after that cup. I can't, I can't believe I did that. I've got that stupid TikTok 
sound effect in my head and I, I've had it in my head for days. I don't know what message it's trying to send me. But the one they go do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do I have had that on repeat in my head for days. Is anybody else like that? You get quotes or sounds or anything but just starts living rent free in your head and you can't figure out why. It just comes out of nowhere. Okay, so now that it's all on, we're going to give it a really good tappy tappy tap. So that all the excess falls off and that is what we're left with. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to, because it's now got Mod Podge on it, um, I'm going to stand this up to dry. Um, and then once the Mod Podge is dry, we'll come back, we'll seal it, and then we'll start putting some resin on. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Future Panda coming to you from the editing room. Um, obviously I realised that I had no sound, so I'm going to do my very best at doing a voiceover. So, uh, I'm just explaining here that I've taken off the tape off that top bit and also retaped the bottom bit. At this point I had also uh, spray sealed uh, using Rust-Oleum two times in the clear uh, so that my glitter didn't move around and make a mess. And now we are going to get into using UV uh, resin because I wanted to give UV resin a crack. Um, now because this isn't a tumbler or a glass or anything like that I can use UV resin same as what you do with the pens um, because ho hopefully nobody's going to be putting this in their mouths and therefore we can use UV resin. Um, so I thought I'd give both resins a try on this project so we're going to seal all of the glitter and everything in and do our first coat of resin with UV resin um, and then you'll see later on I go in uh, with amazing quick coat um, uh, to do my waves for the beach because you can't actually get that effect with UV resin. Um, a, it doesn't move like that. B, uh, hitting UV resin with a heat gun is a really, really bad idea. Um, so I'm not very good at voiceovers because I can never remember what I said. Um, obviously, but judging by my hand movements, I am explaining something. I'm probably explaining what I just told you guys about the UV resin and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach. No, I'm not. I'm going to obviously, I think I'm grabbing a baby wipe. I think I forgot my baby wipe. Um, but basically to do uh, UV resin on these, you do it exactly, you treat them like little mini tumblers. Oh, there's the baby wipe, see? Um, treat them like little mini tumblers. So we're still, oh, that's my eyeshadow brush, okay? Uh, I'm going to use my little eyeshadow brush to get in around the top um, with the UV resin so that it doesn't go over that little knobby bit at the top with the hole. Um, so I'm going to do that first. We're going to put a couple of drops um, of UV resin, making sure that I'm in frame. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my little silicon brush and just move that resin around so that it's coming up to, I don't know what else to call it except the little knobby bit, but that bit on top where we're going to put the keychain back through, right? So I'm just moving the resin around to make sure that I get a good coat on there first. Another little drop on this side. And then we're going to go in with the silicon brush again. Okay, so once that part's done, I'm going to put it on my turner um, and I'm going to treat it like a little mini tumbler. Um, nope, we're going to put a little bit more on, apparently. Here we go. This is why I don't like voiceovers. I'm not very good at narrating myself. <laughs> I'm better at narrating when it's happening. Uh, going back in and doing this, um, it's some people are really, really good at it. That will never be me. Um, I'm, I'm not a do a voice over later kind of person. Um, just cleaning up all of my tools and then you'll see me click this onto my turner. No, I lied. Okay, so we're going to do the finger method for lack of a better way of explaining it. I'm going to put the UV resin straight on. We're going 
going to apply the resin this way okay um, if you are doing it this way um, make sure you work quickly um, because the UV resin not being cured is obviously going to move around if you hold it in the one spot for too long it's going to start sliding off and dripping off and you're going to end up with a big old mess okay um, so if you are going to do it this way um, make sure that you work quite quickly but again you just treat it the same way as you would the um, inkjoy pens um, or tumblers right you put your resin on and then you'll use your finger to move it up and down and get full coverage from top to bottom uh, so I've done the lid bit first and now I'm doing the base um, and as you can see as I'm getting the resin on there and moving it all around I am constantly turning that that PVC pipe in my hand um, just to make sure that you know if the resin runs one way it's going to run again the other way um, UV resin is it can self level um, but it's not great at doing it in my experience um, uh, on pens um, on keychains and stuff like that that's leveled out flat um, yes it will sort itself out but on stuff like this um, you want to make sure once you've got full coverage um, even with moving it around as what I'm doing now once it goes on the turner let it turn for a bit before you put your UV light on just so that turning um, kind of helps it even itself out again so you don't end up with waves and bumps and whatever else okay so now that I've done that bit I'm going to click it onto my turner make sure you're in frame right and now I'm going to turn it in the opposite direction. Yeah, um, if you see on the right hand side, you can see my microphone cord. Um, because my old rickety turner is so loud, it actually sits next to where my microphone usually is. So I had to move my microphone to the other side of the table so it wasn't right in your ear. Um, and I think I hit the mute button, um, which is why I'm joining you now. Um, okay, so I'm just going through, that's not a baby wipe, that's a glove on my hand. Um, it was a glove that I just used, I didn't want to waste another glove. Um, but I'm just smoothing it out where I can see that it's a little bit lumpy. Um, I'm just trying to re-smooth it out and I'm going to let it turn for a little bit longer. Making sure that we try and get it as level as possible. Now, I'm going to get two here it is number one number two two 20 ounce skinnies um they're going to be my stand for my uv lamp because i'm very professional okay so welcome back um i just realized that my microphone was muted um something something had to go wrong um yeah i just realized that my microphone was muted so i'll go back and do my very best at doing a voice over for that part because obviously we're too far gone now for me to re-record um so you know <laughs> enjoy that because i'm not very good at voiceovers um but we are back so basically it's now on the turner it's spinning i've got my 220 ounce skinnies i'm going to put my lamp on top um and then from there i'm going to do five 60 second cycles uh now it probably only needs two to three minutes um but i always do five minutes just to be extra sure that it's cured so i'll go and do my five minutes with the uv lamp and then we'll be back for the next part hi guys a quick safety disclaimer for when working with resin please make sure you always protect yourself by wearing eye goggles or other protective eyewear a half face respirator mask with interchangeable filters. I got mine from Bunnings and they also sell the replacement filters. And of course, gloves. Now I prefer to work with nitrile gloves, but in a pinch, vinyl gloves will also work. These are the two types that will not tear easily when working with resin. Please make sure you stay safe while you're having fun and happy creating. Okay, so UV resin's all done. Um, so now we're going to go in with normal resin. Um, I am using, um, is it still Amazing Clear? Amazing Quick Coat, which is um, an Illuminite one. So same as Amazing Clear Cast or Amazing Clear Cast Plus, um, except this is the Quick Set one. Okay, so I'm just going to apply 
the resin. Um, I mixed up 10 mils because I was, I really wasn't sure how much I'd need. Um, I kind of guesstimated maybe 5 mils. Um, because we've got to do the waves as well. Um, but I didn't want to mix it up and then not mix enough and then waste it. Uh, so I have mixed up 10 mils, but it's probably way more than I need. Um, so I'm just going to use what is left because what's left will be um, white so I've got another project that I can use that on to do some waves on another project that I've got going at the moment too um, but yeah honestly 5 mils probably <laughs> would have been more than enough looking at what I've got left now um, That's alright. That's why I do them so that you can learn from me and you don't have to waste your stuff. Alright, so I'm just applying it exactly the same way as you would a tumbler. Trying to get a nice even coat going. without it being too thick because we still need it to go back together at the end okay um, now that that's on there I'm gonna get our little in frame our little eyeshadow thing again I'm dipping it into the epoxy and then just kind of squishing it over the top kind of like what we did with the UV resin um, but instead of dropping it on I'm putting it straight onto the brush first I know I'm really close to the microphone I'm gonna make sure <laughs> I had to my microphone's usually over the other side um, but I had to move it because this turner is really noisy and I didn't want to annoy everybody with my noisy turner. So I moved it over to the side, but that's the side that I have to kind of lean over because I'm blind as shit and can't see unless I'm right on top of it. <laughs> so I will fix that audio. Actually, I'm going to turn my gains down, I think. You can't see. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so once I have my epoxy on, uh, you can use uh, resin paste. Um, LBB resin has a white resin paste that is specifically for creating um, ocean waves. Um, but I'm going to go a little bit old school tonight and we're going to use alcohol ink. Um, the only alcohol ink, um, white alcohol ink to use for projects like this is the Pinata Blanco ink. Um, I have a lady that sells them locally um, if I get into a pinch um, but usually I prefer to buy my alcohol ink from craft online um, so I will leave their, their link down in the description along with everything else that we're using in this video but once that is well mixed We don't want it on our beach, so we're going to go like this. And try and get it to whoops, that was way too much. A little bit enthusiastic then. Let's hit it with a little bit of heat um, and see if we need to do more. So remembering that this is the top and this is the bottom, I want to push my waves this way and then on the lid I want to push them the other way. Okay. 
I was doing so well this time too. Hang on. I unplugged my heat gun to plug in the UV lamp earlier and forgot to swap them around. So please stand by while I plug in my heat gun. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, actually, I'm going to mute you guys um, because, again, the heat gun's going to be right in your ear. So hang on one second. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more white to this side because it kind of all petered out. And we don't want the waves to take over, but we also don't want them to not be existent either. I'm just going to pull a little bit down. On my glass slipper. Getting there. I don't want to put too much on. I reckon that'll do it. What do you reckon? Not that you can answer me because this is pre-record, but what do you reckon? Our beach. So, like I said, I used the quick set. Um, I'm going to finish up real quick so that I can go and use what's left. Um, but... Definitely don't mix up 10 mils unless you've got another project. Mix up 5 and you'll probably still have plenty left over. So I'm going to let this level out and do its thing. Um, in about 15 minutes I'm going to take this tape off uh, just so it doesn't end up getting stuck. Um, and then by tomorrow morning this will be nice and cured. And I'll be back to show you the finished result. Okay, so here is our final result and we're just going to quickly put it all back together again. Okay, so obviously our first step is putting our clip back on the top. Which just feeds through like so. Okay, we're going to put our straw in. Our straw has our little cleaning brush inside it already. Little telescopic bit goes at the top I have my brush around the wrong way let's fix that there we go okay thick bit goes down the bottom put it in there like that screw on our lid and we have a gorgeous beachy reusable straw what do you reckon isn't that cool I can see these becoming a thing so you saw them here first, right? I think they're brilliant. So just to recap, let's get our little star of our show, right? Is our Chelsea, whoop, Chelsea Blue Designs straw attachment, okay? Links will be down in the description. We use the straw attachment, the straws you can get from the Shimmer Shack, the glitters we used were Sandman, Mermaid Sparkle, Kiss Me I'm Irish and Mystique from the Shimmer Shack as well. Um, I have discount codes for both of these suppliers. Uh, so make sure you check out the description to get your 10% um, off Chelsea Blue and 15% off the Shimmer Shack. Um, after we did that, I went in, oh, UV resin works brilliantly, by the way. Um, I forgot to mention after that part because with the whole microphone not working thing, um, kind of threw me off a little bit. But yeah, um, if you weren't doing waves and you were just doing something simple that you could use, uh, like obviously we used um, the quick coat because I had to make my waves for my beach. Which if I hold it up, see, didn't they turn out cool? Uh, I just think it's very special. I love it. I'm so proud of myself, so I'm just peacocking for a bit. Um, 
But if you didn't need to make waves, um, then you could definitely use just UV resin and uh, do it the same way that we did. Treat it like a little mini tumbler or a pen. Put your UV resin on. Still have it turning on the attachment on your turner um, and just have your UV light set up above it. Um, and do it that way if you wanted to turn them out a little bit quicker. Um, obviously, because they're not a cup or a glass um, or a coaster or anything related to... Well, they are related to food or drink because it's got straw in it. But you know what I mean. Um, you don't have to use food safe resin. You can use the UV resin. Um, because I was doing my waves, that's why we use normal resin as well. And it's turned out absolutely brilliantly. Um, from here... Uh, if I was to, you know, customize it with a name or whatever else that I was doing, I'd put my vinyl on at this stage and then do another coat of resin to seal the vinyl in. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just leaving it like that. So please let me know what you thought of this demonstration in the comments. Um, I suggest you run, don't walk to get your straws um, and your straw attachment. Um, but yeah, no, I can see this becoming a trend, especially now that single use plastics have been banned. Um, so if you do end up making some straws, please tag me, uh, if it's on TikTok, um, or on Facebook or anything like that. I always love seeing other people's work, um, that I inspire through my tutorials. Uh, it makes my soul do a little happy dance. Um, and I'm always so appreciative of each and every one of you for tuning in and, um, watching my videos and having a go and right it, it I feel happy so please don't ever be scared to share what you make um because it's it really is so fulfilling for me um so please make sure you tag me when you make your straws so that I can see what you guys do with this idea um otherwise that's it from me um by the time this video goes up uh I can confirm that uh, the straws um, and the glitters will be in stock um, on the Shimmer Shacks website. Um, we were just, we're, we're delaying the video release a little bit just until the straws arrive um, because we didn't want to put the video up um, and then have you guys, you know, biting at the bit to 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 get started and no straws to get started with so i will upload this video as soon as the straws come in um otherwise thank you once again uh for joining me um without you i mean i i know that i do the tutorials and everything and you guys learn off me but i wouldn't have a channel without you guys um each and every one of you is a very big and special part of this channel and and it getting the traction that it's getting at the moment so i want to personally thank each and every one of you um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i'm making a real effort this year to upload at least once a week for you guys um and it's not always tumblers as you can see and it's not always resin either um i've had a couple of uploads recently that have used um heat transfer vinyl and stuff like that uh, so it's not just resin art um also click that little bell and turn on your notifications so that you get notified when my new videos go up and if you could please give me a thumbs up as the final step i greatly appreciate it um all of the thumbs ups uh tell the youtube algorithm that people are interested in this video and then i get exposed to more people that may not know that i exist uh, so I hope you all stay safe out there um, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.